Hi everybody, CyberRef here. I just want to speak to you on the subject of Ra is all around. If you think of the creator Ra, and Ra is the creator, the oldest name for the creator in all of history and time, and think of the universe, the creator, and the sun, the moon, the stars, the cosmos, the wind, the rain, seasons, time, space, from heaven to earth and beneath the earth, the whole cosmos creation universe with time and space and spirit to spirit, that is the creator. That is his universe, that is his throne and his footstool is earth. If we think about it logically, rationally, we have the creator and some call God all around. He's a living creator. He's the living Ra. He's the living God. And what most people will say will what do we call him? And there's different names for the creator, like God, which actually God means El or Elohim. So when people say God, a lot of people don't know what they're actually saying. What they're actually saying when they say God is Elohim. That's why you have to understand that the oldest name for the creator is Ra or Amun Ra. The creator is someone who keeps the sun, the moon, the stars, the universe, the cosmos operating on a daily basis. He keeps life in his hands, in his thoughts, in his mind. He works and operates the universe from heaven to earth and beneath the earth on a daily basis. That's why we have the sun rising. That's why we have night with the moon as light of the night. When we understand that real religion and real meditation and real living and life is all around us, it's something that we cannot detach ourselves from physically but we can detach ourselves from it mentally and spiritually when we understand this which is deeper than any other religion or denomination on planet earth when we understand these things how real creator real universal church operates we do not have to go somewhere to meet the creator or meet god really the word god is religion it's religious the creator is not religion and religious the creator and yes there's a distinction between creator and god that's the point i'm i'm trying to make here and get you to see the creator is the living creator he's the living orchestrator of life death into the afterlife of the afterlife eternally one can stretch their mind and their soul and their spirit into an universal understanding rather than a religious or denominational understanding because that's very limited and in fact very mythical or legend or fable that a lot of people who spend their times being members of a denomination or members of a religion really do not understand this is why we have over 33 million different gods and goddesses just in india alone this is why you have different names and shapes and images of a god or goddess when the real fundamentals 
and the real truth and the real foundation of who the creator is and what the creator is called and how the creator operates his universe and his kingdom. Because really the universe is a kingdom, his kingdom, and he has employed or created or commanded gods and goddesses to work within his kingdom and his universe from heaven to earth and beyond earth into the afterlife this is why we need to understand and go back to the real bible that is written in stone not paper versions of religions and denominations because when you get Bible versions in paper. This is what distorts and blinds and enslaves the minds of people of all nations and tongues worldwide. We need to get back to the Bible, the Holy Bible written in stone. And the stone is of the Garden of Eden. And the Garden of Eden in written in stone of the Holy Bible is actually Africa. Think of any country on planet Earth. Where could the Garden of Eden be? Could you have exotic animals and fruits and species and with the climate and environment and bees and flowers and trees and fruits in America? Could that be in Great Britain? Could that be anywhere in Europe? No. The only place that it could biblically be and physically be is Africa. But I'm talking here about the Creator. How we can be one with the Creator who is a universal Creator. A creator that operates every single day, the sun, the moon, the stars, the galaxies, the cosmos. He operates what we see, hear, feel. He even knows our thoughts, our desires. He records and accounts for every single soul like a database management system that is universal and also has a universal communication system. And many people do not use these creative and creation tools for the creator. They use them more for things and world and things of world, which is carnal, temporary. The Egyptians, the and Kemet Egyptians of Africa understood these things. In fact, all things of knowledge, wisdom, science, mathematics, alphabet, language, and languages have all originated, including the Holy Bible, versions of the Holy Bible, out of and from Africa. This is not a black and white world or black and white issue it's mankind issue it's mankind's history it's mankind's truth the oldest human dna on planet earth if you research it is africa south africa they call it. but south africa north africa east africa west africa is still africa the book of genesis if you study and research it is Africa. Most of the Bible, in fact, 99.9% .9 of the Bible in any version, they're speaking of Africa and Africans, but they don't state Africa and Africans when they should state it Africa and Africans throughout the whole entire Bible. There's other things that they do not do deliberately. There's no positivity, there's no truth to the great pyramids and the great things in architecture and mathematics and science and astrology and astronomy that 
professed Christians claim that they believe and know and appreciate like heaven and earth when they ignore the cosmos, they ignore the seasons, they ignore how the moon and the sun works with the stars and night and sunrise and time and space. They ignore 90% of that, but they embrace going to a wooden church or stone church or building to seek and find and praise and pray to God. But to pray and praise God is not necessarily praying and praising Ra. Now, if you're saying to yourself at the sound of my voice, I do not believe, I do not believe in Ra. I don't know who Ra is. I don't know who Amun Ra is. I do not know who Amun Re is. Well, Re, if you do the research, is the ray of the sun. And you say, well, I don't worship the sun. Let me educate you and help you. Because I understand, because I once would say the same thing myself. Think of the word pray. Right in the middle of the word pray, you have Ra. Think of the word praise. Right in the middle of the word praise, you have Ra. Think of the word repent. At the beginning of the word repent, you have Re. R-E. Put those in capital letters and you have the Creator's name in those words. What I'm trying to show you here is the true Creator is not by mistake. It is by default. His name is automatically engraved and enshrined within his creation from heaven to earth. That is why when you say Amen, you are really saying Amun. Research it. Every single knowledge of any Bible version or any religion, including Muslim, Islam, Christianity, and all the different types of Christianity, Evangelical, Pentecostal, Church of God, Adventist, all came out with, with their versions and interpretations and translations out of the original stone and holy Bible of the hieroglyphs of Kemet, Egypt, Africa. But they like to just say Egypt because they renamed Kemet Egypt. Almost as if deliberately trying to erase Kemet Africa and make it Egypt European religion or belief system. That's not the truth. The truth is it's Kemet, Nubia, Kush, Hebrew Africa, not Hebrew Israel of 1948 but Hebrew Yisrael with a Y and in the middle of Yisrael you have Ra but you also have El and the end of Yisrael or Israel that's why they dropped the Y because they have adopted the Israel of 1948 to serve the God of El and the deities of El so they've created their own deities in order to not have to bow down to or worship Africa commit deities of, or gods and goddesses of Ra, Amun-Ra, the original creator. And they've tried to move the Garden of Eden of Africa to Israel. I haven't got the time to go into that, but... The, Think about it, research it, try and understand it, the truth. There is no other country. The Garden of Eden could never be just Israel or the territory of Israel. The Holy Jerusalem, I'm not going to go into that, but it could. The real holy land of the Bible is Africa on a whole. Nubia, Cush, Kemet, Hebrew. That's why the pyramids are there. From Sudan to Kemet, Egypt. Also stone churches. The oldest stone churches 
of Ethiopia, but the new universe and the new universal creator is whom or to whom we should focus when it comes to church and religion and denomination because there's only one kingdom, one universal kingdom and one universal creator in and through us all. It's time for us to awake. It's time for us to understand and examine and re-examine the histories and lies and deceptions and the fables and the legends to understand, let me put it this way, could you write about China without mentioning the word Chinese? Could you write about Germany and not mention Germans? Could you write about British or England or Britain and not mention English? Could you write about Japan and not mention Japanese? So how can you then write Bible versions about Africa as a fact, but not mention Africans throughout the Bible? What are your thoughts on what you're hearing? If you're on social media, leave your comments on Twitter, YouTube. It's time for the awakening and the latter rain, not the former rain, that we have been forced regardless of nation, tongue, or people, forced to just read and believe, remembering that the first King James Bible was written in 1611, when the Holy Bible of the hieroglyphs and objects are over 10,000 years old. Thank you for listening.